Hey guys, this video is about my homemade, delicious looking, smooth, creamy shea butter mix. If you want to see how I make it, just stay tuned. My first ingredient is shea butter. Shea butter is a rich source of vitamins and fat for your skin and hair. It contains vitamins A, E, F, and essential fatty acids and antioxidants. For the hair, shea butter has been used to soothe and treat dry, itchy scalp or dandruff. It absorbs easily into the scalp and does not clog the pores. Shea butter aids in binding moisture into the hair so it's excellent for acting as a sealant and keeping your hair protected against the weather. Shea butter protects against damage from the heat tools used in heat, in heat styling the hair. Shea butter is believed to have a low amount but sufficient SPF to protect your hair against the damage from ultraviolet rays of the sun. This is a definite benefit for processed or color treated hair and of course for natural hair. As you see here, I am measuring out my shea butter. Shea butter uh, makes up the bulk of my recipe and no I will not be sharing my measurements but I wanted to share my process with you and the ingredients that I use. Okay here I am adding softened shea butter. I softened my shea butter to just a little more than room temperature so that I can mix it easily and it'll go on and mix and combine. This coconut oil I purchased from my local Costco. As you can see it's pure unrefined cold pressed coconut oil 100% organic extra virgin. This is a 54 fluid ounce jar and I purchased it for I believe it was $16.99 so I thought this was a great buy. This coconut oil lasts me a very long time. Regular application of coconut oil can help you to keep your hair strong and moisturized. Coconut oil possesses the ability of penetrating the hair shaft and thus conditions your hair from within. The oil supplies enough moisture to protect your hair follicles from environmental impurities and heat. I will be sharing links uh, in the description box of this video uh, of where I got this information from and uh, so that you can go uh, do your own research and to just verify what I'm sharing if you should desire. I purchase my apricot oil either from my local vitamin shop or my local health food store. The regular application of apricot kernel oil on the hair can make your hair soft and shiny. Avocado oil is rich in vitamin A, B1, B2, D and E as well as amino acids, sterols, sterols, pantothenic acid, lecithin and other essential fatty acids and can readily penetrate into the hair strand. Avocado oil in particular can lubricate and create slip without a super greasy feel. Wheat germ oil is a fantastic health and beauty superfood for its rich content of vitamin A, D, and E, as well as essential fatty acids, lecithin, protein, minerals, and vitamins B1, B2, B3, B6, and F. It can be used in treatments and hair masks to condition and soften your hair, particularly if you frequently use heat or coloring. Jojoba oil. It is good to treat dry hair or even to promote hair growth. Because of its similarity to sebum, this pure liquid wax is naturally safe to apply to any type of hair and skin. Basically, it acts as a moisturizer. Even better, it produces a thin film on the hair shaft and scalp to maintain the moisturized condition. Once all my ingredients are together, I mix them with a mixer and I just mix and mix until the um, say the batter or the mix starts to thicken a little bit because as the shea butter cools off it will thicken. Um, so I just mix and mix until the mixture thickens a little bit from what it was and the oils become incorporated into the shea butter so that it's not so oily and so loose and runny and I just mix until it becomes a cake batter like consistency. Okay, this particular mixture I'm making for my aunt and she requested or asked that I put in tea tree oil and peppermint oil and that's what you see me doing here and I also decided to put lavender oil to kind of counteract the 
smell of the shea butter which is not necessarily bad I'm kind of used to it but um, I I like a little fragrance with my shea butter mix so I use lavender oil okay how do I use this shea butter mix I use this shea this shea butter mix mainly as a leave-in and as a sealant there are times I use it as my only leave-in and it's the only thing in my hair after I wash my hair and there are times I will apply um, some conditioner to my hair and I will seal with the shea butter so that's the last thing that I put on my hair there are times also that I'll use my shea butter as an underlayment for any gel like flaxseed gel that I use that really is the only gel I use I don't use store-bought gels um, on the regular I may try one out here and there but just not on the regular the main gel that I use is flaxseed so I will use this underneath my flaxseed gel So guys, this concludes my demonstration of how I make my shea, my homemade creamy shea butter mix. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I want to know from you, what do you use your shea butter? What do you use shea butter for in your natural hair regimen if you do use it? And if you don't use it and you plan on using it, how do you plan on using it? All right, so just leave me a comment and let me know how a mix like this would help you. If you would like to purchase a jar of my homemade shea butter mix, then send me an email at lovingdnaturally at gmail.com. Okay guys, this concludes this video on how I make my homemade creamy shea butter mix. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay beautiful and stay blessed.